Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we're taking a quick detour back to a special tools investigation. In the new version, Finale 27.3, they made a significant update to special tools and how they behave in voiced linked parts. Actually, to say that they now actually do behave in voiced linked parts where they didn't before. So if you started out in the special tools investigation and you just watched the first video, the introductory video, uh, you may have remembered that towards the end of the video, I started talking about special tools in linked parts and saying that they do work in linked parts. However, some of them are not unlinkable. That is all still true. Um, but at the very end of the video, I said that they are not available at all in voiced linked parts. That part now as of 27.3 is not true. So everything I said at the very end of that video um, will only apply to basically 27.2 and previous. Um, so if you have one of an earlier version, then yes, all that information is correct. But uh, going forward, 27.3 and onward, um, voiced linked parts now uh, have the special tools available to use to us, which is actually kind of a big deal because um, not having the special tools available in voiced linked parts caused some uh, two major problems, really, having to do with grace notes and um, notes that were in seconds on the staff when when voice uh, when layer one and layer two were in seconds it would kind of screw up the positioning of the notes in the voice link parts now that the voice link parts have access to the special tools those are no longer uh, problems which is really great so it actually makes using voice link parts a much um, uh, more possible uh, scenario. So uh, if you want some more information about actually using voice link parts, I would recommend going to video 23-4 where I explain it in depth. Uh, it's, you know, where you find it is in the manage parts and it's the specify voicing for each linked part. You can see my alto sax part and my alto sax 2 part are using the same alto sax 1, 2 staff. Um, but they're using this uh, edit voicing window to uh, kind of parse out which notes get put into which of these linked parts. That's the whole concept behind the voiced linked parts. Um, you know, a normal linked part like my tenor sax, which is just one uh, instrument on a staff, you know, you're not using a voicing. So this is what I would consider a normal linked part versus a voiced linked part. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so that's what's going on there. You can check out 23-4 for that. Um, and for a general video on the 27.3 update, you can go to video SS7, which I'll link here as well. Um, that will also talk about the uh, JW tools that were just added to uh, version 27.3, which is really neat as well. But anyway, if you're um, following in the special tools investigation, you just saw that introductory video. I'm going to give you some more uh, information about this right now. And then you can go on and watch, continue watching about all of the specific special tools. And in the subsequent videos, if I ever mention something about uh, a, a special tool not working in a voice linked part, just understand that if you're in 27.3 or later, that probably isn't true. The, vo the special tools now do actually work in the voice link tools, with a couple exceptions, which I'm actually going to talk about uh, right now and get a little bit more in depth with. So right about now, I should be putting up a table that I created for you. And uh, you'll see that on the top column, or the top row, I'm, I'm listing all of these special tools. And the uh, the next row below that, it says works in a linked parts. And it's all wise, it's all yes. Every single uh, special tool works within linked parts. Um, but there's a little bit of a difference between each special tool, which you can see on the next row, which is saying whether or not it's unlinkable. And there's many whys, but there's also many ends, uh, meaning that some of these tools are not um, unlinkable. So let me just briefly go into the tenor sax part, just kind of a very quick demonstration about this. So this is the note position tool, and you can see that if I move a note here, it turns orange, which as we know in finale means that it's unlinked. So this position is unique for this linked part, but it will be in its normal position in the score. I'll just undo that. However, the note head position tool, which is the next tool uh, in the special tools palette, if I do that here, you'll see that um, it will move, so it is usable within the linked part. However, uh, that note head doesn't turn orange, which means that it's not unlinked, which means that the change that I made right here is also going to be reflected uh, in, the, um, in the score. So you can see that that note head got all the way off to the right here. So that uh, second tool, that note head position tool, uh, is not unlinkable. And so you can see, let me put this, this uh, table back up here for you. You can see that in this table, uh, there are a lot of Y's, but there are also a lot of N's in, in the uh, unlinkable section. And, you know, this, it's all kind of technical. There's a reason why some of these are linkable and, and not unlinkable. And some of them, it wouldn't make sense to unlink them. So 
Um, yeah, it just it is what it is. In the third row here, you'll see I have works in a voiced linked part. And basically, it's kind of similar to the top row. It's almost all Ys, except there are a few tools that are still Ns. So you can see the notehead position tool doesn't work. The accidental mover tool doesn't work. And the four tools related to stems, direction, double split stem, uh, reverse stem, and custom stem, um, those uh, don't work in a voice link part where they normally would work in a regular linked part. So those six tools in particular um, still don't work in a voice linked part. I believe the ones related to stems, like that's almost, it almost has to be the case because of the way that Finale is handling uh, layers in voice linked parts where it's picking out one layer and another. Sometimes the, the stem direction has to be corrected. Um, so that's sort of par for the course in a way. Uh, the note head position tool and the accidental mover tool, not 100% sure why those two tools don't really work in voice link parts, but um, the fact is that, that, that they don't. Now, in that last row, you'll see something I'm calling hackable. And uh, basically, uh, for those six tools, I'm telling you whether there's a hack to uh, fix this. And there's only one why there. It's the note head position tool. And uh, I'm going to show you what this means. Um, because it's actually it's actually a little bit clever. I mean, this is such a rare use case. So again, with the note head position tool, right, uh, where you would normally be able to move the note head in a linked part, you can't do that in a voice linked part. See, I'm trying and nothing's actually happening. Let me just zoom in here a little bit more so you can see this. I'm trying to move this uh, D sharp here and it's, it's not working. But there's a really interesting hack that um, I was kind of clued into um, related to something else, which I'm going to actually show you, which is really cool, but it also works for this. So if you go into your manage parts and find the alto sax part, if you temporarily temporarily turn off specify voicing, you'll see all of your, uh, sometimes you have to redraw, you'll see both the, the uh, layer one and two notes here. So you're not seeing a voiced part, you're just seeing the whole staff, right? Well, you can actually then move the, uh, the note head position because again, it is workable in a regular linked part, just not a voice linked part. And then all you have to do is go back to manage parts and turn that back on and then click OK. And when you do that and redraw, um, it will actually retain the, the spacing that you just did. Now you can't, you can't actually move it any further, um, but that's an, an interesting hack. Um, let me just undo all of this stuff. That's an interesting hack to actually make the note head position tool workable in a voice linked part. Now here's the super, super bonus tip. Um, and many people will, will have struggled with this and, and uh, if they're using voice link parts, this probably drives them crazy. Uh, particularly when you're dealing with transposed parts, sometimes you're aware that uh, it, the transposition doesn't necessarily always give you the, the best accidentals. So if we look over here, bar 16, A sharp, B, B sharp, C sharp, but maybe we want the B sharp, sharp to be a C natural, right? But as you probably are aware, in a voice linked part, um, you can't um, you can't actually enter the the speedy frame um, in order to uh, you know flip the end harmonic. You can see I'm trying with the speedy tool and it's just I, I can't get in there, right? That's because this is a voice linked part. Interestingly, that same hack actually works here. So if we go into the manage parts, uncheck specify voicing, uh, click OK, just redraw. Now we can use the uh, speedy entry, or you can do this in simple entry as well, and just navigate to that uh, B sharp, press the nine key, which will respell the N harmonic, and of course it will turn it orange when it does that, right? And then go back into the manage parts window and turn specify voicing back on, click OK, redraw, and you'll see that it will actually retain that orange C natural, meaning that the, that note is respelled differently than it is in the score. So. This is actually a neat hack that I have to contribute to Robert Patterson, who, who clued me into this. So um, for many people that have dealt with this, um, this is a, an awesome thing. So it works here. It works with the note head position tool. Um, and that's it. So it, it doesn't, this particular hack doesn't work with the other um, special tools that I listed in that chart that says, you know, you can't, um, uh, you can't use them in a voice link part. So unfortunately, the accidental mover tool is another one. Uh, the accidental mover tool will not work in a voice linked part. And that hack, unfortunately, does not work on this either. So, And then one final thing. Let me just throw up that table one more time. 
um, with there's two tools in particular the double split stem tool and the reverse stem tool you'll see that I have an N with asterisks for both of those in the works in a voice linked part um, the odd thing is is that both of those tools will not work in a voice link part here's the reverse stem tool um, and you can see I can do all this stuff and nothing will happen it will not work in a voice uh, linked part except that it's buggy and it will so if I did that right let's see bar 17 for my alto sax one let me just zoom in here you can see what happened is that the uh, the stem the the stem got reversed, which is what that tool is supposed to do. If I unclick that, you'll see that it goes back to normal. That's what this particular tool does. It's, it's used more for like um, uh, cross staff beaming and stuff, but uh, it can be used in a linked part for whatever purpose you need it to. But you can see that it's actually changed here. But if we go back to that linked part, it's not. Um, it's really weird. You can actually engage it here without it doing anything. Um, and it will actually work on the score, which is sort of buggy in my opinion. So, um, yeah, it is, it's weird that you can actually use them in the linked part, but you can't actually display what they're doing in the linked part. So those tools in particular, the double split stem tool and the reverse stem tool, I think that's just sort of a little bit of a, a bugginess to it. But, uh, so yeah. So anyway, so that's all there is to it. Um, you know, I just wanted to do this little quick little addendum video if you're following along in order in the special tools investigation uh, videos you know you'll have seen the introduction and I had given you that information about voice linked parts and special tools not working in voice linked parts but now you understand that they do and hopefully going forward you can uh, kind of parse out the implications um, with all of the voice linked parts as you learn them one by one in the next several videos so yeah, so that's all there is to it. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. As always, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you soon on the next video.